Hello and welcome to the R tutorial for generating probabilities and p-values. We are very fortunate that an R package has been created that will allow us to generate pictures of probabilities and p-values which can be submitted for homework and pre-lab assignments. Since this is a package, we will need to follow a similar process to the one that was used to install R Commander earlier in the semester. First, we need to open up R. Before we get started, I would like to mention that the link to the package's documentation and installation instructions can be found in the video description below. In addition, all code used in this tutorial will be available on the closed captioning of this video. Let's get started. We first need to install the DevTools package, which will allow us to download the particular package we are interested in. To do this, type in install dot packages, open parentheses, open quotations, dev tools, close quotations, close parentheses, and press enter. Next, we need to use this dev tools package to load the probabilities and p-values package. To do this, type in dev tools colon colon install underscore G-I-T-H-U-B, open parentheses, open quotations, Z-K-E-L-L-E-R-8-9, slash, plots, 250. Close quotations, close parentheses, and press enter. After this, we have now installed the plots 250 package onto our computer. This is our visualization tool. After installing the package, we need to load it, just like we do with our commander. To load the stats250 plots package, type in library, open parentheses, open quotations, plots250, close quotations, close parentheses, and press enter. We see a welcome message that gives us two function call options. First, let's explore the prob function. The prob function is going to give us the probabilities under the standard normal distribution. To use this package, we type in prob, open parentheses, close parentheses, and press enter. We see that this loads a nice menu that will allow us to see all of the options available. We can choose one, two, three, or four, and pick the direction of the probability we are interested in under the standard normal curve. Remember from class that Z is our notation for denoting a standard score under the standard normal curve. Before we explore this tool, I would like to point out that the instructions tell us you can press Q at any input to quit. This is a good thing to remember, so if we need to move between tools and R, we can type in Q and exit the function without shutting down R. Let's pretend I am interested in a probability to the left, a greater than probability. I would choose option 2 and press enter. Next I need to give the function a lower bound c. This is my observed value. In this case let's say it's 2.15. I type this in and press enter. Notice that immediately a large window appears with a picture of my probability. We are not quite done. In order to submit this for an assignment we need to add our name. To do this return to the R console. You will notice that a function asks if you would like to save this to your desktop, Y indicating yes and N indicating no. I would, so I type in Y and press enter. Now I need to enter my name for the plot. This will be below the title N01 distribution. And so here I will type in stats 250 demo, but you should add your name instead. Then I press enter and I return to the original menu. But if I look at my desktop, I now have a graph saved with my name. Let's explore the other function available in this package. Remember to quit this function we are currently using. We need to type in Q and press enter. Now we can load the second package called pval. This will generate a similar image, but for p-values instead of probabilities. To open this function, we type in pval open parentheses, close parentheses, and press enter. This function allows us to look at p-values under the distributions that we will explore throughout the semester. 
Here I may be interested in finding my p-value for my observed t-test statistic under the t-distribution. In this case, I would want to look at option 2, so I type in 2 and press enter. Now I need to enter my observed t-test statistic. Let's pretend that again I observed 2.15. I type in 2.15 and press enter. This function will automatically prompt you to add any additional information needed to define your distribution. So after typing in my observed test statistic, I also need to give my degrees of freedom for my t-distribution. This function will also ask when using a chi-squared or f-distribution option. Let's pretend my degrees of freedom are 10. I type in 10 and press enter. Finally, the input wants me to define the direction of my alternative hypothesis. Recall that the p-value is always shaded in the direction of the alternative hypothesis, so choosing the correct direction is crucial for getting the correct area. Let's pretend here that my direction is greater than. So I type in 1 and press enter. Now my plot will appear in the viewing window again, but I'm not quite done. I need to return to my R council and add a name to my graph. The function asks whether or not I would like to save my graph, and I do, so I type in Y and press Enter. Again, I will need to add my name, so I will type in stats250demo and press Enter. This will save my graph to my desktop, and now I can directly submit this for any of my homework or pre-lab assignments. Finally, I will just exit out of this function by typing in Q and press Enter. It is important to remember that every time you reopen R, you will need to reload the PLOTS250 package. To do this, type in library, open parentheses, PLOTS250, close parentheses, and press enter. After that, the menu will appear with the problem p-value function information. That is all I have to show you on the PLOTS250 package. Please feel free to check out the link to the original documentation in the description below or use the closed captioning option to get line by line code directly.